Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, if you are new here, my name is Sonia and this is where I share uh, my die cast cars and some other stuff. So today's video is about Zamac Hot Wheels. And I've mentioned this before that I was going to do this little segment. And um, I actually had it planned to do like the point of view. I had a neck mount. I hadn't had time to really test it, but it didn't look too complicated to put together. So I can't figure it out. <laughs> so I'm going to return it to Amazon because it's like somehow this is supposed to fit on there. Fail. So I'm going to start with the Porsche Taycan, Taycan, but I did look up the pronunciation for Zamac, which by the way, hold on just a second. And Zamac is an alloy of metals. Uh, zinc is the base. And then there's also alumi alum blah, 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 aluminum, magnesium, and copper. So if you didn't know, now you do. So I have the Porsche Taycan. Turbo S, and if you've noticed on these cards, they do have the Zamac on there. Um, and actually, this, you know, it looks like they're numbered, which I didn't actually realize because I haven't opened any. Uh, this is number eight and it says from 2023 and like this one's number 10 from 2023. So I'll have to uh, see how many of those I actually have. This is from Factory Fresh and they're all from different groups, but I guess they felt like they wanted to number them um, alongside that. The, the computer back here is doing something. So because I just got to have video opening these and my understanding is that these guys are are simply they're not painted i mean they look like silver just like a silver car but if you have a silver hot wheel next to it you can usually you can pretty much tell the difference So there's the Porsche. If you look at the top of it, next, and these are in no particular order. This is just what I have: the Corvette C7 Z06, and this one actually says number ten, and it's from the then and now which I didn't realize that because I haven't really been keeping up with then and now because I've been involved in some other stuff, but now I've got to really go and start adding this year's, which I'm assuming it's this year's because I haven't seen it. Um, I'll have to go find out. And these are very lightweight, which is interesting. If these aren't painted, then why would they put stripes on it? But I guess they have to do something. They have to have some deco, right? I actually like this one between the wheels and the striping. There's that one. And then there is the Automobili Pinaferina Batista. This is also from 2023. Uh, it's number nine. And of course, I have the regular mainline version of this one. I have two of them, three colors. And this is from Green Speed.
And the other versions that I have have the striping on it. They're, they're both blue, but like the inverse of each other. So this is pretty cool. I like these wheels. I don't see people posting these cars a lot. I just know it's an Italian supercar or whatever. Next is the 64 Nova Wagon Gasser. I think I actually found this one. These other ones I bought off of Whatnot because I just don't run into that many. But I was on Whatnot a couple of months ago. And um, <laughs> needless to say, I haven't been back on there since. <laughs> So this is from uh, H.W. Gassers. And this will, you know, when you have one like this, do I put it in the, because I don't collect gassers. So, but it's a wagon. So do I put it in my wagon collection or do I leave it with the Zamax? I'm probably going to leave it with the Zamax. I only have one of these. I only found one. But I like the, I like the purple on this. Because you can see all the purple glass and everything in the interior. I like it. And the 17 Pagani Huraya Roadster. This is number hold on, seven from last year from HW Roadsters. There's the card. I'm pretty sure I got this one off of uh, Whatnot as well. And of course I have the regular, the silver, and I think the white one version of this one. These don't seem to get a lot of attention either. I guess it's just not the popular Pagani car. But I sell some every once in a while. I thought this was an interesting choice of wheels with this finish, or it's unfinished. These gold wheels. I'm not sure if I could. I might. I might do a wheel swap on this. I don't know how to do that yet. Maybe one of these days. And the '70s van, which I had not seen this. So when it came up on uh, whatnot, I had to get it. And I think I ended up, I mean, I think I ended up paying like four or five dollars for this one. Because, you know, I like my vans. And this is from Art Cars, which I thought was interesting. And of course, what's really cool about this van and the... Um, I haven't really talked about the, the regular main line. I have a bunch of these. And what I did was, do you remember? Hold on. This Ford Transit, Transit van with the D on it. I actually did a post. I didn't do a post. I planned a post. And I took the N and the D, which is my first initial, actually, my government name, and the first initial of my brother's government name. And I made an N, and then I had, you know, plus with the cars and a D. And I took pictures of the letter that I had um, gotten from Mattel. And I, in the letter I wrote them, and I never did the post. Um, I just couldn't. But I, I, did, I actually did the pictures and everything back in November, which is Lung Cancer Awareness Month. And you'll see, like, the white ribbons. But one of these days, maybe I'll do it this year. But I thought that was so cool that they put these out last year. And both at the same time. And, and, you know, they were, you know, our initials. 
But this is really cool. I wish I had another one of these. I might pick one up off of eBay or something. I just think it's really neat looking. Blacked out tires. Got black interior. Now, this one is not, it does not have the Zamac um, designation. And I don't, I haven't opened one of these yet. You know, this is that Braille twin mill. And, but to me, I don't know. Did it, it really looks like a Zamac to me. I mean, it really does, especially here where it looks like it's a little worn. It doesn't look painted to me at all. So I don't know why this one doesn't have that designation. And I actually do like the, the wheels on this. I don't know. But I'm, I'm going to leave that. And that's from Experimotors. I'm going to leave that with the Zamac collection. So the other ones I have are actually box sets. Now, I can't remember. I think this one came out first. And this may have been from 22. But it's this set. Of course, it's a Zamac. Has it on there. And this has the Shelby Cobra, the Hudson Hornet, the El Camino, the Aston Martin Vulcan, and the Land Rover uh, pickup, and the Nissan 370Z. And I believe this was like 20, 20 something dollars. And I haven't opened it yet. I, I just, I don't know. I don't know if I will. If I, I, I don't want to open it for one car, which is the Z car, of course. <laughs> And I like the packaging on these. And the other one that I think, I don't know if I'm, I'm, it must have, I think this was for 23. And then the other one, I think I reported on it, was uh, a truck set, which is a Walmart exclusive. And I've been trolling the website, hoping that it'll pop up. But I think it's supposed to be like $19.99, which who, who knows? I really, really want that truck set. So... This has the Roger Dodger that's in the forefront, and it has the uh, Chevy Silverado off-road, the 2016 BMW M2, the Brazilian 1974 Brazilian Dodge Charger, and the Datsun Bluebird Wagon 510, of course, King Cuda, and the 2010 Ford Shelby um, Super Snake. Now, Y'all know that I am seriously wanting that wagon out of there, right? And I'm thinking I might just go on eBay and see if I can find a Lucy to pick up so I can have it to play with. But you can see on the back, I think the renderings are really good. So that's really all I have for the Zamax. I'm probably going to cut it a little bit short today. I'm going to briefly report on Mattel Revealed. You know, it was the 21st and 22nd. And of course, I got an email that you can go and view it on demand. Which I really wish I had known that because I would not have sat through all of that with all the other brands. That was just so long. And of course, they say the, the best for last. Y'all noticed that, right? Hot Wheels was last. And the Z car, of course, I ordered, I got two of the Pandem Z. And, of course, I don't think it ships until August, which was such a disappointment. Because usually those Elite 64s outside of the last one, the Audi, they were shipping pretty quick. So I don't know. And then the guy that's the actually the designer, this is something they went over in the video, Mark Jones. He was like the the designer behind Elite 64. And the whole thing is that this series has separate parts so they can do more with it. I guess it's just not molded like a lot of the regular main lines are. So they have a lot of separate parts like this one has the camera wheels 
and whatnot, more detail because they can do that. They have the separate parts. But this Mark Jones, which I'm not really that familiar with a lot of the designers at Mattel, but he retired last year. And I thought maybe that's the reason why this series has kind of been all over the place because nobody's really owning it. And I don't remember the guy that's working on it now. So, but the other thing that was notable during their live is that there will be a Bugatti this year. Okay. You know, that's going to be a hot one. I'm going to keep my fingers crossed that I can get it, even though I didn't do the overdrive. <laughs> you know, the overdrive membership. So uh, the Cowabug, the green one, the acid green one, is dropping next week. That's the RLC membership car. And um, all I can say is yet another one. But that's okay. It's all right. I may or may not get it. We'll see. Depends on the mood I'm in. And there is a new box set coming out. It's It has G-Ready branding, delivery, um, which G-Ready, for those that don't know, is a, you know, a JDM tuner parts company. Now, if you don't know anything about tuners or tuner cars and the parts and all that, Google it. Don't, don't rely on me to tell you. I just know that there's stuff in there. They can do stuff to the car, computerize, and all this other stuff. So that's the next box set that's coming out. Who knows when it's actually going to drop, especially in my stores, because we just got the Jay Leno um, garage. That's really, I picked it up in a store, a Walmart, a, like close to two months ago. And then a different Walmart that I went to had a bunch of them. And I thought, is this going to be a shelf warmer or what? I don't know. And, you know, some people don't really like it. So I, we'll see, right? Um, and in this new box set, it has a 240Z for those that are interested. It also has a, um, a drift wagon, the Maxima drift wagon. This might be an opener. And it also has a Pandem Subaru um, and a flatbed hauler, which we have plenty of those, don't we? But that's okay. G-Ready livery, which I don't mind. And um, we're on 17 minutes. And, you know, I've hinted and talked about a project that I've been working on. And if you'll notice, I'm really kind of stopped up. I, I'm, it ran me down. So yesterday I did my uh, first craft show. And before I get into all of that, please like and subscribe if you like. You know, they say in my class, don't tell people to like and subscribe. You know, they're going to like it if they like it. But I don't know about that because I'm telling you, sometimes I'll be watching somebody's video and I'm really into it. I'm like, you know, that's some really good information. And then I'll realize after I click off of it, you know what? I don't like that person's video. I should have done that, you know. I think sometimes we need that reminder. But anyway, so yesterday I did my first craft show in a very, very long time. You know, if you guys didn't know, and you probably don't know, I am a big fiber artist type person. I knit and crochet. I have this huge yarn collection. Yeah, I'm that girl. I can't help it. You know, when you don't, I'm not going to get into that part of it. So. Um, so I, you know, and I hadn't really done one solo with a tent because er now you do these markets. Everybody's got to have a tent, right? This is just part of the whole branding thing. Everything has to be very specific. So I did a, I did a, a trial run on the tent, you know, I had to put the canopy on and figure out how to put the side walls up, but I didn't use a side wall because it was windy as, and I'm literally holding on to my tent. Even though I had weights on it, I'm like, and at one point it blew so hard. I was sitting in my chair, you know, it was a foldable chair, but it wasn't just nothing, you know, and I'm holding on to the back leg of the tent. And I swear to God, I almost, it happened twice. I just knew I was going to be on the ground. <laughs> Luckily, it, the wind stopped. So now 
if I do this again, I've got to get some of those PVC pipes that you can fill with concrete and tie them because really the legs are one thing. You know, they recommend that you have like 30 or 40 pounds of weight on the legs. But what I found to be more of the problem is just it gets under, especially if you have a canopy that's really, it gets under there and it's just, that sucker is just gone. So I've got to think about doing that, but I won't be doing any more outdoor markets for a while because that was an experience, a muddy experience as well. And I barely made my booth fee. So, you know, now, cause I, I like to calculate, um, how much, cause it was like an eight hour day. They extended the hours of the market and a lot of people I'm sure assumed that it was supposed to end at four, not six. So we really did see that drop off, even though there was another festival going on or uh, a festival going on behind the building. You know, it was like a block party thing for Easter. You know, I felt like it really dropped off uh, about four, four thirty because people just, you know, thought that we weren't there. So I really wasn't too pleased about that either. But, you know, I got through it. You know, I think I caught a chill because Thursday or Friday, no, Thursday, I was in my garage putting the tent up. I didn't want to have it out here in the driveway. So I did it in my garage, got the tables and, you know, it was chilly in there, even though it was like 70 that day. And I think I just literally caught a chill because I'm a little run down from this. You know, I've been kind of staying up a little bit late and going to bed, staying up late, getting up early. I was really kind of stressed out about it because there's a lot of moving parts. But I will say that my point of sale, my Shopify point of sale worked well. Um, it took me a while to get the card reader to pair with the phone, but it did work. So I had the tap, um, uh, tap and pay, which I was really surprised that went pretty smoothly. And I made friends with my neighbors, which is always nice. You meet people. And, you know, it was just good for me to get out because I've been doing a lot of self-isolating. You know, I've been staying at home. I've been really staying to myself. <laughs> which this year, you know, I've decided that I'm, I'm not really going to do anymore. I'm going to try not to do so much of that. But, you know, every time I go out, not every single time, but for something like this, you know, I, I, somebody's following me. So it's just, but I'm not going to get into that. At any rate, there's a lot of stuff coming. And I'm going to try to put a picture of the new box set, I think, here on this side um, where I mentioned it. And I'll have a picture of my booth set up, which is a terrible picture because I couldn't put my banner up because I felt like it was going to blow away. The setup was not at all what I wanted because the winds were so high. And actually, even when I was driving home in the, in the Magnum, I, I took the wagon with me today, <laughs> that day, yesterday. It actually blew me kind of. And that's a big car. And I had a ton of stuff in it. And you have my two tables. I had the tent. I had crates. I had totes. I had all of it. And it actually kind of blew me over. And I was like, man. I'm pretty lucky that my tent didn't blow out into the road because where we were, you know, one of the main streets was like right behind us. But anyway, so midweek, I've got some other stuff. I did get the, um, and it's over there somewhere, the Advan, um, gosh, what was it? An R34? I can't remember. I got that, that I'm going to show you. And I did pick up one of these. At um, Big Lots when I found it, there's a Z car in it. It just seems like we've got Z cars all over the place. I'm just so excited about that this year. So let me know what you thought about the Mattel reveal. It sounds like they're going to do another one. I don't think I'll sit there and watch it live again. I have these calls twice a week and that's really, you know. But now that I've done the market, I got all my moving parts. You know, I can kind of get back to the Hot Wheels because I really I have a lot of stuff that I need to get listed on the website. And I have a lot of stuff to show you, too. So enjoy your Sunday and I will see you next week. Thanks for watching.